us also to share with you and with all of you a very powerful tool that we will begin to share on your world at this time that will allow you to understand something very important about some of the things that you may feel. We can use the cynicism as an example, since you have brought it up. Anytime you have a feeling that is of a vibration of the nature that you know is out of alignment with your truth, of course, as we have always said, allow it, acknowledge it, own it, because you cannot change what you do not own. But now, understand it is a very powerful tool of transformation. And first and foremost, it is a very powerful tool of diffusing and neutralizing the negative vibration in anything that comes up. So, whatever it is you may feel, be it anger, be it hate, be it doubt, be it fear, be it cynicism that you believe is out of alignment with your truth at any given moment, say out loud to yourself, or if the situation does not allow that, Say strongly in your inner voice the following thing. Or some variant thereof depending upon what it is you are experiencing. I am feeling cynicism because I choose to believe I need to. I am feeling hate because I choose to believe I need to. I am feeling fear because I choose to believe I need to. I am feeling doubt because I choose to believe I need to. Or I choose to believe I must. Or I choose to believe it serves me. Or I choose to believe fill in the blank. But the critical portion is The acknowledgement that you are feeling what you're feeling. I am feeling X. Followed by, because I choose to believe. Fill in the blank. When you begin to observe the feelings and make these statements, in that moment, you will find that the vibration will somewhat flatten out, somewhat neutralize, somewhat diffuse. It will bring you back at least somewhat to center because you have actually completed a circuit. You will start to rewire your brain. Most of you experience some of the difficulties and struggles that you do on your planet and thus the feelings that go with it of pain and doubt and fear and cynicism and hate and so on and so forth, because as you have pointed out, in your upbringing, many of those ideas were reinforced in such a way so that the circuit was never allowed in your brain to actually get grounded as a complete equation or a complete thought. All that was entrained within you was... I feel fear. I feel doubt. I feel cynicism. I feel hate. I feel anger. I feel less than. I feel this and left at that. Just left at that. And then left to wonder and ponder what to do with that. Without a tool to complete the circuit. Because just I feel hate. I feel this is an incomplete circuit. It only takes you halfway and doesn't give you an opportunity to understand how to ground it into physical manifestability in a way that allows the energy to dissipate and then be worked with, to take you to a place where you're capable of working with it. So from this point forward, if you wish, up to you, Use this tool to complete the circuit. And every time you may be going along joyfully and suddenly feel 
cynicism, hate, doubt, any vibrational, emotional alignment that you feel is out of alignment with your true self. Stop. Take a moment and acknowledge. I feel X because I choose to believe I must. As soon as you do that, you will be back in control, back in the center of your being. The energy will somewhat flatten, diffuse, and dissipate, and you will be able to then, from that point forward, deal with the issue at hand, which would be the underlying belief, without getting caught up in the short circuit of just, I feel this, I feel that, I feel that, I feel that, I feel, 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 and never knowing what to do about it. Now, also, at the same time, to reinforce the positive vibration, anytime you feel a positive emotion, do the same thing. I feel overwhelming joy and love because I choose to believe I must. And that will start strengthening your ability to complete the circuit when the negative vibration comes up. You will more likely want to complete the circuit because when you complete the circuit and flatten and neutralize the original negative vibration, it will propel you toward the positive vibration from the reinforcement and you will begin to get into the habit of choosing the idea of doing a flow-through, a complete follow-through to the positive side from the negative instead of stopping halfway and being short-circuited. And you will literally, by doing this exercise, every time that you catch that emotional vibration out of alignment, completing it with the phrase and grounding it, diffusing it, going to the positive, reinforcing the positive in the same way, you will literally start to rewire the electrical pathways, neurological pathways of your brain that were previously short-circuited by the kind of training and upbringing you had as children, you will literally rewire your brain. And as you do it again and again and again and again and again and again and again, you will suddenly begin to realize that in time, it will actually be a struggle to get into negative vibrational reality. You will start to expand and increase the idea of what we may refer to as the gravitational potential of your positive vibration. Look at this idea in your mind's eye right now. <clears throat> Imagine, if you will, that at the core of your being there is a powerful, bright star, shining bright. However, it is mostly invisible to you because it is surrounded by a shell, a spherical shell of all sorts of belief systems that may be out of alignment with your true self, which is that star at your core. But as you reinforce the positive side, as you neutralize the negative side, as you rearrange the neurology of your brain, as you ground the circuit, complete the circuit in this way, bit by bit, piece by piece, this puzzle shell, puzzle piece shell around the star will begin to crack, become transparent, become see-through, let you know the star is there. You start to see the light. The shell starts to crack and fall away, float away from around the star. And you begin to feel the pull, the tug of the star like a moth to a flame, entranced mesmerized by the beauty and the vibrational power of the core of your being, and you begin to fall toward that star. And the closer you get, you come under the influence of its gravity more and more powerfully. And the closer you get, the gravity becomes stronger. The closer you get, the gravity becomes un, un, unbelievably powerful, overwhelmingly powerful, until such time as you are caught in the gravity well of your positive self to such an extent, it will be impossible or very, 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 very to the power of 99.9999999999% unlikely that you will be able to pull away from that pull, that tug of the positive vibration again. Hmm. 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 With that picture also in mind of falling toward the star of the light within you, you will also start falling toward that star. 
and you will feel its tug. And as you become immersed in that gravitational well and unable to pull away from it more and more, you will become more sensitized to the vibrations that are you and also more sensitized to the vibrations that are not. So you will constantly then move away from what you are not and towards what you are and the pull will become inexorable. And you will fall into the center of your soul and be, be who you are.